Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and it's a new release week. So, here is everything that is coming out for Blu-ray and 4K for the week of August 18th, 2020. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I'll put out videos every single day. You can also find me over Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd, that movie guy 365 Okay, it's that magical time of the week where we talk about the new Blu-ray and 4K releases coming out for the week of August 18, 2020. So there's quite a few things coming out, uh, even some 4K stuff. So let's not waste any time. Let's dive right in. So the big one is going to be released by Arrow Video, at least here in the United States by Arrow Video, and that is going to be Flash, ah! the Flash Gordon from 1980. We'll be getting a 4K release. This, this is actually coming in a couple different editions. There's a standard edition, which is available at, online at Amazon for about $20 or so. And then there's also a collector set for the 4K edition, which is gonna run you about double that or so. Um, there's also going to be a standard Blu-ray edition of this as well. So there's quite a few things uh, coming out for Flash Gordon, but the big one is going to be the 4K edition and that should be available online, no problem. Uh, I do not expect to see this one in stores, but it's possible Best Buy might be carrying it. Barnes & Noble typically sometimes will carry Aero Video things. So definitely check your local retailers, and, but your best bet will be online for this one. So let me know in the comments if you plan on picking up Flash Gordon. Uh, another big re release from Aero Video is Gamera, the complete collection. All 12 films from the, the Giant Monster series are coming to a collector set and that will be available online. That's exciting, it's a big addition, just like the Godzilla collection over released by Criterion last year. This is coming out uh, this week and this will be available at Amazon. There's also other online retailers that will be carrying this title as well. So let me know if you plan on picking up this box set. Uh, also from Era Video, and I believe this is a re-release, is The Last House on the Left, the 1972 version with Wes Craven directing, is getting released. I seem to remember this coming out before, so, um, but this will be available. Uh, check online for this title. Frankenstein and the Monster from Hell is being released from Shout Factory, 1974 film starring Peter Cushing. Um, Shout Factory or old horror titles are sometimes uh, available at Walmart's uh, Best Buys, but your best bet is probably to pick this one up online if you plan to uh, revisit this title. This has been a number of years since I've seen it. Uh, I'm excited to check this one out again, so let me know if you plan on picking this one up. Uh, uh, DC Animation is releasing Deathstroke, Knights and Demons, or Knights and Dragons, sorry. This is coming out, uh, no 4K edition for this one. So just a standard Blu-ray will be available at your local retailers and online. Uh, the latest from the DC Animated Library. I believe this was a, a, a mini series that they kind of merged into one movie, if I'm not mistaken. So that might be the reason why there's no 4K edition for this. So this is going to be released this week. So. Check that out if you are a fan of Deathstroke or DC Animation. Uh, American Pie Presents Beta House from 2007 is getting a release. I believe this was released before at some point, so this is probably a re-release or reissue from a different studio besides Universal. So, and I know they're doing, they just announced or they're doing another uh, American Pie spinoff. So check that out if you are a fan of the movies or the spinoffs. So that will be available. Um, your best bet on this to pick this one up online. Uh, Your Name, uh, a Funimation release, is getting a Best Buy exclusive Steelbook Edition. Uh, this has already been out on Blu-ray for a couple years now, but uh, this one is coming to Best Buy exclusive Steelbook, so check that one out if you're a fan. Um, Universal and DreamWorks is releasing six spooky stories, a collection of the Halloween shorts from, you know, Shrek, Monsters vs. Aliens, and uh, so forth and so on. This is getting a, re um, a release online. Definitely check that one out if you're a fan. I kind of like them. I think the, the, the short DreamWorks, um, you know, sh uh, episodes they did on TV were pretty cool. So um, definitely check that one out if you're a fan. Uh, a couple things being released from Universal Pictures from the, their back catalog on Blu-ray. Curve, starring Julianne Huff, is getting a release this week, so check that one out. Ed, starring Matt LeBlanc from 1996, is getting a release. 
it, I saw this one time, uh, this movie one time, and that's all I ever needed to see it. But if you're a fan of the film, this is coming out for you on Blu-ray. Out on a Limb, starring Matthew Broderick, a comedy is getting a release this week. Um, and Welcome Home, Roscoe Jenkins, starring Martin Lawrence from 19, or I'm sorry, from 2008, is coming out this week. So check that out. A uh, nice little slate of stuff from Universal Pictures. The 2016 movie Prevenge is coming out from RLJ Entertainment. So that one, like most RLJ stuff, is going to be available mostly online. Do not expect to see that one in stores. The Barge People, also a horror film released by RLJ, is coming out. This one may, small chance, it might show up. I could just see this uh, appearing at a Walmart locally near you, but if you really want this movie, your probably best bet is to order it on Amazon or other online retailers. I Am Vengeance, a Retaliation from Lionsgate, starring Vinnie Jones, is coming out this week. Brand new movie, uh, one of the few 2020 uh, directed DVD or movie or Blu-ray uh, titles coming out this week. So check that one out if you are a fan. Let me know if you plan to pick this one up. The Outpost, uh, Screen Media 2020 action film, is coming out this week. Once again, online is your best bet for this type of movie. Uh, Arrow Video is releasing Pitch Black on Blu-ray this week. Now, there is a 4K edition that is coming in a couple weeks. It was supposed to come out, I believe, this week, and it has gotten delayed about two weeks. So, the Blu-ray edition is scheduled for uh, release this week, but the 4K edition is still a couple weeks out. So, just keep that in mind, and like most Arrow Video stuff, your best bet is to pick that one up online. So, Pitch Black, of course, starring Vin Diesel, uh, Chronicles of Veridic kind of uh, series here. So, I really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to the 4K edition. Let me know if you plan to pick that one up. Uh, Death Before Dishonor, Scorpion releasing a film from 1987, is coming out this week. Uh, I haven't heard anything about this one, but uh, online is your best bet for this one as well. Clara's Heart, starring Whoopi Goldberg uh, from 1988, is getting a release this week. I saw this one a long time ago. I, I don't remember too much about it, but I remember someone enjoying it. You know, Whoopi Goldberg's uh, pretty good in it, so check that one out if you plan to. Uh, a couple releases from Sony coming out this week. Ice Castles, uh, starring Robin, Robbie Benson from 1978, is getting a release from Sony Pictures, so check that one out. Uh, Ruben and Ed, starring Crispin Glover, is coming out also from Sony Pictures. Uh, a Dog's Courage from Wellgo USA, an animated feature, is getting a release. Sometimes these are showing up in stores, uh, tip, uh, titles from Wellgo USA, so check your Walmart, check your Best Buy if you plan to pick this one up. Uh, SNM2, Metallica, and San Francisco Symphony Orchestra is getting released. Concert series uh, is getting released on Blu-ray, so that should look really nice and sound incredible. So let me know if you plan to pick that one up. Thrills and Chills four movie collection is getting a release this week from Paramount. That's including Pet Cemetery, A Quiet Place, Crawl, and Overlord. So a four pack of movies is getting a release on Blu-ray. Sometimes these show up in Best Buys, but your best bet will be to probably pick this one up online, like on the Amazon. Uh, the Godzilla spoof Notzilla from uh, <laughs> a comedy is coming out for uh, this week. Uh, it's from uh, this year, 2020. Uh, it's a comedy about, you know, kaiju. So this one should be interesting. Uh, definitely check this one out. Um, Enter the Forbidden City, a historical drama uh, from 2018, is also getting a release this week. Also, a couple releases from Kino Lorber coming out this week. And with most Kino Lorber things, you're going to have to probably pick this one up online. Do not expect to see this one in local retailers. Uh, Soldier Blue, starring Candace Bergen from 1970, is coming out this week. Backlash, also from Kino Lorber, 1956 film, is coming out. The Eagle and the Hawk, uh, starring Cary Grant, a 1933 film, is coming. Uh, Raid on Rommel, from uh, 1971, Richard Burton film, is coming from Kino. The Red Ball Express, coming from 1952 war film, is coming from Kino. Also, Those Who Deserve to Die, the 2019 film, is, is also being released by Kino Lorber. So quite a few things from that studio. Uh, a couple things from the TV front, Batwoman Season 1 is getting a release this week. This one should be available locally, uh, but you can also order it online. So check your Walmarts, check your Best Buys, and this one, and maybe even Target. I think Target might even carry this one, so check that one out. Uh, CW shows are usually pretty popular and, and worth putting in stores, apparently. So um, a Curse Films documentary is coming out this week. This one sounds interesting. Uh, it's a documentary about Hollywood movies that are supposedly cursed. 
I might check this one out, but let me know in the comments if you plan to pick this one up. And the Terror Season 2 Infamy is coming out this week. Uh, I saw the first season of the Terror, but I haven't gotten around to the second season yet, but let me know if it's worth checking out. And finally, a couple things from Criterion Collection. And with Criterion, Barnes & Noble is your best bet, but you can also order it from Amazon and Criterion's website. Uh, the Comfort of Strangers, Rupert Everett and Helen Mirren is coming out this week, movie from 1990. And Town Bloody Hall, a documentary from 1979, is getting a release from Criterion this week. So that is everything that is coming out this week on Blu-ray and 4K. Let me know what you plan on picking up in the comments section below. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I'll put out videos every single day. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.